Hey, what is going on there YouTube? This is the Gaming Guy and today I am bringing to the full drop list for the first week of this fall winter season. Now obviously I was expecting there to be quite a couple of items come out this week but unfortunately there are a lot more than I was just like anticipating or looking out for. Normally for the first week they drop between like 50 to like 80 items and this week is no different. They're going to be doing the same thing for some reason they just love to drop like a large chunk of the lookbook and a large majority of the items on the first week. I understand that the lookbook tees normally always release on the first week but with all of this other stuff that is also coming out it is just far too much so yeah. We're just going to get straight into this and to clarify for people who normally ask because a lot of people do ask at the beginning of each season. Tomorrow being Thursday is only in store, it is an in store only day and the online drop will be on Monday so in case anybody gets any confusion or anything that is how it goes. So yeah, let's get straight into this drop list. Okay so obviously to look at the drop list and things in general, one of the people who put out the list first is obviously going to be Jay or Drops by Jay. He put out obviously every single item with all of the retails and everything and also include that there's going to be an unseen keychain and an unseen pin release. So let's go on to the drop list in this format. Uh, once we get past this week, I'll go back to the format of having images show on screen so that it's a lot cleaner. Uh, but just because it is week one, we are going to go through it in this way. So we're on Supreme Community, obviously, and I am going to start at the bottom and then go up instead. I think this is a better way for me just to start off the week one. Instead of going with the best, we're going to start with the worst and just get through all of the pieces that aren't so amazing or aren't so light. So starting off, we've got the digital beanie. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not my sort of piece. Following that, we've got the Gore-Tex overcoat. Again, I'm just not a massive fan of it. I like the reflective 3M on the back, but I wish that that said Supreme instead of Gore-Tex. That might have got a bit better feedback if it did. We've then got the Jug Mesh 5 panel, obviously as the keychain that is going to be releasing this week. Uh, that is the Jug. We've got the exact same thing on a 5 panel, so I'm just going to move ahead. Uh, we've got this 6 panel, which is also featured on another piece, I believe, that is releasing this week, but again, is at the bottom for that reason. We've got the work pan and the Jacquard logos uh, twill short. I expect these to be quite near the bottom because, yeah, um, <laughs> they're not the greatest pieces in the world. We then have the tartan flannel shirt. Uh, personally for me, again, it's not an amazing piece and that is why it is near the bottom. We've then just got the standard items being the flannel Oxford shirt, the rigid slim jean and the stonewash black slim jean and they're all near the bottom as per norm pretty much. As a sort of surprise to me, uh, the Eyes Rain shirt is quite near the bottom of the list. I didn't expect this to be as disliked as it is, uh, but yeah, it is quite disliked. Um, but we'll have to see if the black colorway sells out in it or what happens with it. Moving on, we've got the Crown Track Pan in three different colorways. It's really nothing special, so I'm just going to move it on to the High Powered Work shirt which isn't terrible but again it's not the best thing in the world it is an embroidered logo uh which is quite odd that they put it in the place that they put it with it being embroidered uh because it will literally open up okay i'm gonna try and move through a bit quicker because there are obviously a lot of items so we've got a jacquard logos twill crusher we've got gore-tex tape seam pant we've got a sup mesh camp cap again not great items so i'm going to move past them we then have the supreme is love skate pant the striped mohair sweater and the crown track jacket to match the track pant a lot of people said that this sweater might do some numbers but i don't really know if it will in the end from there we've got the martin wong eight ball leather varsity jacket i do like the martin wong pieces however with the retail estimation of nearly 700 pounds it is just a bit of a yikes for me personally we've got the striped short sleeve top i saw a lot of people actually like this but personally i think the colors are a bit wild for it we've got the disturbed skateboard uh reminded me of almost like the scream sort of look uh, but yeah, it's artwork by Sean Cliver, who I'm a massive fan of previous collaborations with Sean Cliver. Uh, however, I was just hoping for a bit more to come uh, this season from him, but 
we'll have to see if they do anything else towards the latter part of the season. Now we've got one of the tees, or two of the tees actually being the Super Cream tee and then the Faces Long Sleeve tee. I'm not really a fan of these pieces to be honest. I find this one a bit creepy but at the same time it's quite cool with it being the aspect of them having no eyes. And as a normal thing we've got the Stonewashed Slim Jean. Moving on to a lot of items that obviously match, we've got the Gore-Tex Camp Cap and the Gore-Tex Taped Seam Jacket. To me, both a bit of like yikes pieces personally and yeah. We then have the 1800 beanie that is going to be releasing as well. I don't think they're releasing any of the other 1800 pieces this week so this is just going to be by itself. As a standard thing again, we've got the truck and the classic Spitfire wheels. We have another one of the tees which is the Levitation tee releasing. Personally, I was a bit of a fan of this piece at first until I found out that it was the copy uh, or like the one-to-one -one basically changed with just the text being changed to Supreme. When I learned about that, I sort of lost my interest in this piece. We then have another set of the uh, Spitfire wheels and we have one of the duffel bags. Obviously bags are just a standard thing again. We then have the trademark long sleeve top. I feel like this could have like four or five washes and it might start peeling. Uh, also with the fact it being a top it is going to be a premium piece which it could have a retail of like £78 with that in mind. They've put it as £68 as its sort of retail or the estimation but we'll just have to see what price it is in the end. We've then got a washed canvas camp cap again. So many pieces or so many hats are being released this week for some reason or hats and six panels and things. They're just really stacking everything up. We then have the Martin Wong 8 ball hoodie. Personally for me I really like this piece. It's got the old English I believe it is font and then the graphic is really clean. I feel like it's going to do the same as the blood and you can probably finish that sentence uh, hoodie that was from Fall Winter 17 I believe it was. And yeah I really like this graphic overall and We'll just have to see how it sells. Obviously to match the pant, we have the Supreme Is Love denim work jacket releasing this week as well. It's got a bit of a mix on the like to dislike side, uh, but again, we'll have to see how it sells. As a standard item, we obviously have the shoulder bag releasing. Then we move on to another one of the tees being the Queen tee, which I was a really big fan of. However, I don't think I'm going to be going for it. We've then got the 1800 pin, which we're just going to wait and see. Moving on from that, we've got the spread logo hooded sweatshirt. I was a bit mixed on this piece, but I have the same sort of feeling as one of the tops that's going to be releasing with the long sleeve top. It just looks like it could peel after a amount of washes because it just doesn't look that great on it, especially since the text is placed in some areas uh, which will be moved like a lot in your arms. Uh, and on your shoulders so I feel like it could really just like rub away with ease. Obviously standard Hanes and then we've got the side logo track pan. This is actually quite high up on the list even though it doesn't have a giant amount of likes uh, but I don't know how it will end up faring later on in the day. Uh, the colourway in red is almost like a Gucci colourway I think people end up saying so we'll have to see how that sells in comparison to the other two. This is going to be the jug keychain for me it is a bit of a yikes it is a mock up uh, but I'm guessing that that's going to be near enough to how it looks and yeah. Obviously we then have the backpack and then we've got the new tee that is releasing as well. Obviously these are going to be the phone numbers to each of the stores and yeah. I don't really know how to feel about this piece or about this tee. I like the front graphic. I don't know about the whole aspect of showing the numbers on there but again that's just my view for it. We then have the small zip pouch and the waist bag that are releasing which is again just standard. We then have the crew neck to obviously match the six panel that is going to be releasing. Uh, it's got an embroidered logo and it's actually quite high up on the list. Now we're on to like the final 10 or so items which are just the best items. We're going to start off with the cone hooded sweatshirt, then the heaven and earth tee, then the save the planet tee. All of which have above a thousand likes with ease and they are probably just going to stay towards this part of the list. Again with this one I didn't really know what to make of it with the cone hoodie. Uh, I wasn't really a fan but I didn't really hate it either. I just feel like it's going to go under the radar and just disappear. We then have the heaven and earth tea which is sitting quite high to be honest on the list. Again with this one I don't really have a massive opinion on it uh, but I can see it probably doing quite well. Probably not like instantly because everyone tries to flip items instantly but maybe in the future it will. Save the planet tea. I like the uh, concept saying save the planet but again on the actual piece it has something that is a bit different which yeah you can obviously read right there so at first I thought it was like a tea with a great reason or like 
like theme behind it until I could actually read what it said. Obviously this week we also have the Hanes pants, again just standard item releasing. We have the floral velour short that is going to be dropping. I don't know why they're releasing both the jersey and the short in the same week. Uh, as well as everything else that's going to be coming out. I feel like they should have left them for like a couple of weeks into the season instead of dropping them straight away. But yeah, there's just going to be a lot releasing. We have the most hooded sweatshirt, which I like the multicolor in this, but the other ones don't really do anything for me. We then have the flames short sleeve top. I thought it was okay, you know, it's fire. That's a terrible pun, but yeah. Um, it's just going to be a premium tee, so the price is going to be the £68 or so that it's going to be releasing for. We then have the shoulder logo track jacket, which I was a massive fan of. I've seen a lot of other people have a good opinion of as well. That, again, is basically probably going to come out as like a Gucci colorway. Or that is how people are going to try and sell it. And yeah, personally, I really was a fan of this piece. And I'm going to see how it actually sells in the end and whether it's going to do good or bad. Obviously, the floral velour baseball jersey is going to be releasing too. And yeah, I really did like this piece. However, I just don't think I'm going to end up going for it in the end. Obviously, Hanes socks, different colorway, they're releasing as well. We then have the piece or one of the pieces that I'm going to be going for, which is the Voodoo doll. I've seen a lot of mixed views about this. I've seen a lot of people like it. I've seen a lot of people hate it. Uh, but personally, I'm just going to be going for it because I think it is a cool piece in the end and its price is averagely fair. We then have the Smoke Skateboard. Uh, I thought, obviously, in comparison to the T, that this isn't as legible to see but personally I do like the blue or the navy sort of colorway in it or almost like violet colorway that they have and yeah the other two are nice but I think this one really shows it the best. We're then also going to get the Pelican 1060 case released this week. I mean they are really trying to like to release a lot of stuff. Obviously they've got the little like summary of it saying that it can be submerged under a meter of water up to 30 minutes and last without getting soaked basically. We then have the banner skateboard release. I don't know whether or not I'm going to be going for this because obviously there are a couple of pieces or like two or three pieces that I do want to go for. I don't know whether I want to pick up another skateboard deck or not at this point in the season. I might just end up going for the skateboard and the voodoo doll in the end but I don't know to be honest. I'd like to order two separate like orders though just so I can get stickers and things. We then have the Mary J Blige T. Obviously I've not got as much information or clue on her as a lot of people do uh, but yeah I was going to go for this tea however in the end I don't think I am going to pick it up. Obviously it has the sort of Madonna look to it where they have the photo and then the text over the top and the signature so yeah I don't know whether it would do the same numbers as the Madonna T did or is doing at this current point in time but we'll just have to see. Moving on to the final couple of items we've got the Pyrex measuring cup. Uh, it's going to be £20 or that's the estimation for it. Personally I don't really know how to feel about this because you can get a, a Pyrex cup from pretty much anywhere but that's the same sort of argument that you can give like everything. I don't know if it's going to sell out quickly or not or what's going to happen with it but we'll just have to see. We are then also getting the Timex Digital Watch this week. Uh, yeah I don't I don't really know. They're releasing so many items this week it's crazy. It says it's water resistant up to 99 feet which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah it's going to be about £60 or so. I've seen a lot of people criticise it. I've seen a lot of people want it and yeah that is why it's towards the top of the list. Moving on to the last three items, we have the Subota Pearl Hard Edge Lighter. Uh, I was going to go for this, however, there are just two other pieces that I prefer to go for instead. I can see these possibly doing quite well in comparison to the Zippos because it's a different sort of look. It's I like the colours a lot more and yeah, there's not much else to say. For the last two pieces, we have the Smoke Tea and the Banner Tea. I was going to be going for the Banner Tea. However, I feel like I should just pick up the Banner Deck instead. And that is pretty much all I'm going to say about that. The Smoke Tea, I'm more of a fan of than the Smoke Deck or the Smoke Skateboard. Because it is just more legible on a tee for me personally. And yeah, this was one of the pieces that I was originally just going to be going for by itself. But I feel like I just want to go for other things instead. And as the free gift, we're going to get a mini paratrooper which I used to play with things like that a ton when I was a lot younger so yeah I'm sure I probably still have one somewhere like hidden away that's probably half fallen to pieces but yeah that's why I want to do two separate orders to try and get two of these and then some stickers and other pieces that they might include but that is going to cover the drop list for this week there are a lot of items releasing to be precise there are 69 
items releasing this week. And yeah, that is quite a lot. It is up there with the normal sort of amount that we get per season, which is quite disappointing, but it is what it is at the end of the day. So that is going to cover this drop list video and my thoughts ish with each item let me know down below what you are going to be going for let me know down below what you think of this week because i have seen a lot of people say they're actually going to be sleeping on it and they're just not going to be going for anything because they were disappointed with it but yeah for me personally i think i'm going to go for the banner skateboard and the voodoo doll because i just feel like i, I just want those two to be honest that's that's it pretty much that's all i could say about them and yeah good luck to those who have got an in-store slot tomorrow and good luck to all of us when it comes to Monday for the drop. But anyway, I will see you this weekend for a video going over some pieces in my collection. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. All links to everything, Discord, Instagram. I posted yesterday on Instagram, so yeah, everything like that's down below. I'll see you all next time. Peace.